Welcome to our talk show. Before we begin, we would like to make a disclaimer that everything mentioned in this show comes from personal experiences and opinions. We may refer to biblical references and teachings from the man of God, Prophet Philip Banda, but these are also subject to personal interpretation. Our goal is to share our perspectives and experiences, and we encourage our viewers to seek guidance and counsel from trusted sources before making any significant decisions in their lives. Furthermore, the views expressed in this show may not represent the views of Impact for Christ Ministries. We acknowledge that everyone has their own unique journey and circumstances, and what may have worked for us may not necessarily apply to others. Great exercise. Hi, everyone, and welcome to today's <sighs> live talk show. Gavi, why are you breathing so heavy? Just small movement like that. No, bro, I'm not shaking, bro. You didn't see me. Like, this waist was going like this. My foot was going the other way. My leg ah. was like, oh, bro. It shows that you are unfit, which is what we are talking about today. Physical activity and fitness, sports, you know, just all that stuff. And before we go f- any further, hi, bro. How are you doing? No, I'm good, bro. How y'all guys, bro? This guy is asking us how we are. Imagine. <laughs> Normally, we ask you how you are. Now you want to ask. Oh, me. really? Oh, okay, okay. I'm going to stick to the script, how okay? Are you, man? No, I'm good, no, bro. By the way, here we don't stick to the script. Uh-huh. Here we, we say what we feel like saying, so long you are in line. Yeah. We, we are free. Oh, really? Yeah. Nah, that's good. Mm. You good, though? No, nah, I'm good. Mm. Gabriel. Looking fresh, bro. This guy is wearing all white. Looking bro. like an angel. Is it I angel? <laughs> Wait, please. Did you say your name? Huh? What's your name? Faith. Faithful. Faith. Faithful. Are you faithful? Yeah, I am. To what? Everyone. Oh. Yeah. Hey! You <laughs> said, <laughs> <laughs> bro, what are you trying to say? You are not faithful to everyone. Okay, that's good. Uh-huh. So, Rupert, what are you talking about today, bro? Today, we're talking about physical activity, the importance of physical activity, the importance of sports, you know, staying fit. How important is it for not only a young person, but even an old, older person? Uh, as you saw, we started off by dancing. Some of you people, when, when you're at church, you say, oh, I'm not going to dance because I don't want to sweat. But, bruh, like, you don't exercise at home, but the when you come to church, not to sweat. you still come to church not to... Bruh, you know, dancing is also a physical activity. So. It is. It is mm. a very underrated one. Hey, I feel like, okay, I almost say running is almost similar to dancing in terms of, like, the how much it weighs, in terms of, like, where mm. physical activity is concerned, but I could be lying. But it's also, it's very good, but like it's really, really good. I yeah. feel like we should commonize it. People yes. like myself Actually, and Faithful. Yeah. I know you, Rupert, and you like dancing. I mean, I've seen you like climbing chairs. That's for you to shake your waist. Ah, no. That's, that that, that wasn't got. me. Do you know I have a twin? Oh, yeah, yeah. Now I remember yeah. you told me the lie. I get you. Yeah. Yeah, so... Mm. But before we go any further, bro, do you play any sports? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so, okay, besides dancing, of course... <laughs> <laughs> uh, so besides dancing um, I work hard mm-hmm. um, I like running um, I play volleyball You play um, volleyball? Oh yeah bro, I do no, not <laughs> even, bro. Ask me anything about it Okay not really ask me Because I'm like good In the field than I am um, I play I used to play table tennis mm-hmm. um, I had a very good coach At the time And um, I play girls But I'm just joking Oh <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, just joking, I'm just joking. <laughs> but I uh, know I, I play. Yeah, I think that's that's about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I think, and also I sing if that counts. S- bro, 
We were talking physical sports. activity. Okay, I know. Mm. But that, I think that's all for me. How about you? How about Faithful? How about me exactly? Mm. No, I play soccer, bro. Like, I play all types of sports, you know. Soccer, cricket, but not rugby. Mm. Okay, let me just say I play soccer and cricket, but then I major in soccer, if that's a major, right? Yeah, Is I it a guess. Major? Yeah, major yeah, I major can't soccer. say major, but okay. But th- th- that's your main sport? Yeah. yeah, that's my main sport, actually. Or oh, does playing FIFA also count? No, actually, like being a no. champion in FIFA. No, it counts. No, that is not a sport. You do not set from playing FIFA unless if you're stressing. No, bro. Ah, ah, oh, yeah, okay, you're right. No, playing no, FIFA is you. not a sport because yeah. it's not a physical activity. You're it's sitting not. in. Oh, you're yeah, only exercising okay. this. And what are you going to use this for? To say sharp to people? <laughs> you don't even do that. Like, hey, sharp. <laughs> <laughs> sharp, okay, sharp. Yeah. No, man, how about you, Ben? What sports do you do? Uh, when you look at me, do I look like I play sports? No, actually. Ah, oh, thank you. Yeah, okay, because that makes I, no, I, I the, think you, you like you make up for it by dancing, so it, it's understandable. <laughs> 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 I remember the other time, the other week, yeah. long ago, you called me fat live on the show. Uh, bruh, do you know how offensive that is? It was my twin. Your twin? Yeah. Oh, liar. Yeah, I know. Now we're stealing lies from each other. Imagine. <sighs> bruh. But I, I played basketball. I I know I know you're looking at me and you're like Ruben you're not tall enough to play basketball, bro. It's high school basketball. No, he is tall. It's just that like he's growing also horizontally than he is vertically now. <laughs> yeah, but he, honestly, he is tall. He is tall. Let's just remove the horizontal part. <laughs> he is tall. Yeah, I, but I, I used to play it. basketball and basketball is not really about well, it is about height, but like the skill is also quite important. Yeah, yeah, and also yeah. the level that the level that I was playing, people were not like as tall. So yeah, it was. But I played basketball. I don't know why I stopped inconsistency. You know when you start sin. something, yeah, it's pride and sin also. So, oh. mm. uh, I also at a very young age I did athletics, like I would run, and then I dance as well. So, mm. why are you looking at me like that? Cause you're lying about hey. what? So you are. What do you say again? You're an athlete or something? Athletics. I, I you're doing ran, athletics. I ran, like so I ran, you're running, really? Like the cross country and stuff. Uh-huh. Like that, yeah. So you're a champion or something? No, or I said that was. Uh, were, were you adding the number? Nah, just wanna. No, were you adding the number or? Adding like, the number in terms of? Like just competitors over there. No, bro. Like oh. so you I was, good. No, I wasn't good, good. But okay. there was one time where I came out second place. One time. One time. One time. Oh yeah, I, I can't believe that. Back in the day, I'm sure, but now not. No, now. not now. Yeah, because I'm faster bro. than you and faster than you. Really? No. Yeah, I can nah, get you. Bro. No, maybe not you. you exactly. Okay, after the Thank show, we'll run up there. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> Bruh, yeah, anyways, sure. we're not even there. Let, let's mm. start talking about what we're talking about. Because <laughs> if we look at Ruben, he's not a sporty person. But Ruben, okay. <laughs> Let me ask Faithful first. Um, uh-huh. What do you think sport is to you? How would you define sport? To me, it's like, you know, just... Sport is just to, like for you to keep fit, healthy, you know, like... Okay, for an example, soccer. Let's just say soccer. You know, like, I play soccer because, like, I just love it. You know, there's passion wait, wait, in wait, soccer wait, sports. Wait, wait, wait. Is it yeah? soccer or football? Bro, bro, let's not start with that debate, <laughs> dog. <laughs> okay, okay, but carry on, carry on. Soccer, football, whatever. Mm. Okay, let me just say football. So that no, say soccer. Okay, say soccer. soccer yeah. yeah. It's just to, you know, keep fit. And it's, I love it. Like, I just love soccer. So, for me, like, it's just passion. Like, just to enjoy the game and all of that. Like, you can ask a lot of ballers, like, you know, like footballers, mm. soccer players, you know. It's all about passion. And it keeps you healthy. Mm. And all of that, you know. Like, if you're a baller... You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, if you're I like baller, Ruben. Like, like Ruben is so confused right now. He's just nodding his net for nothing. Ah, bro. Why? Bro, why, like every time we're on the show, people always find a way to attack you. Do you know why? You must look at your attitude, bro. No, no. You must look. You must look at your attitude. Look. Okay, you're not there. But anyways, let me define <laughs> what, is, what is for me. But you know, look at your attitude. Um, For me, sport basically is... um. So it's you being energetic, you applying the skill that you have, you putting in the effort to at least put in some sweat out there. Mm. Like for me, that is what sport is. Anything that can be enjoyable where I'm putting in the effort for it. Um, and think I'm sweating a little bit as well. Sweat, sweating should be there, but if you're doing a sport and, and mm. you don't sweat, yeah, I feel like something is missing. If you don't what? Sweat. Or sweat. Sweat? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Can you play soccer without sweating you? sometimes if it's cold i mean like I, I of don't course of course that's besides the point i mean if it's like extremely cold like temperatures are below zero 
if you're sweating okay but even if you sweat you still sweat no you can sweat but like if look at us bro we cannot sweat if it's what below do you zero. mean when you say look at us i don't want to get deep into that because now you think that i'm coming for you mm. but okay <laughs> let's let's talk about what um sports helps you with like what are the physical benefits, benefits of, of sports. sports okay i'm gonna make an example out of soccer mm. i can yeah because uh, soccer so yeah like there's more into soccer than you like see on TV or if you just look at a soccer player playing, you know, like there's a lot of training you must do like for you to survive in the soccer world, mm-hmm. if you know what I'm talking about. Because like, don't actually, but you don't, thing. okay, no, 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 okay. I'm that's not cool. into soccer, I won't lie. You're not into I know soccer. you can, can kill me for that, but I'm not into soccer. Oh, okay. Ah, bro, real men are into soccer, that's all I'm going to say. Thank you. But anyways, as I was saying... You know, if you're a baller, no way! Whoa! No! This man just said I'm not a real man. No, 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 <laughs> exactly, bro. Bro, bro. bro, that's what I'm gonna say. Real men are into soccer. Thank you. Mm. And real men support Cristiano Ronaldo. Cap. But in, uh, carry on with what you're saying. Because you know, not today we are here to fight. No, it's not. By the end of this show, someone should be having a blue eye. Because no, no, <laughs> there are no partners here. This man just called me. I'm not even okay. It's fine. But then do you watch Facebook. soccer though? Personally, I feel like it's a waste of time. What? No, that's what I'm saying. Personally, like ninety minutes of you sitting down, whereas you could be doing something else. Who's sitting down when you're playing soccer? No, you said do I watch soccer? Oh, oh, okay, yeah. So imagine like sitting down mm. for like ninety minutes. But I'm not there. We're not there. But are you not sitting down now for one hour for the show? What I'm doing now is more productive than me just watching people running around the field, bro. Oh, we are not yeah. there guys i know i mean, look i know we're not there. a lot of people i know they're sweating because of what i'm saying i'm sorry it's just my personal opinion i'm not into that but please man continue mm. why what like what benefits do you have like physically when it comes to playing sport it's playing sport yeah thank you like you get a lot of oh so you get a lot of muscles you know like to survive so that you can stand long uh, times you know like okay like i'm in video crew right so if you're holding cables or something like that like my body's fit, <laughs> bro. Okay, no, nah, no, nah, let's forget. Let's Wait, forget so about that. So you need that. to be fit to hold cables. No, bro, like to stand, like for long periods oh, of time. Yes, I hear you, I but hear then, you. okay, now you're heading back to soccer, right? So when there's preseason, like mm. you know what happens during pre, okay, during preseasons, okay, like we have a lot of trainings, like hard trainings. You know, something Gabriel won't even survive. You know, Ruben. <laughs> hit the today. But anyways, survive. gentlemen like me survive them. You know, so like there are a lot of benefits, you know, like into doing sports, mm. like special to your health, you know, not just soccer, but then that like there are some other sports, you I know. I get that you're into yeah. soccer, that's why I keep mentioning soccer. Yeah, yeah because it's, it's th- that's, that's, that's what you do. So. Exactly. And that's what you love. I'm here to talk about I'm soccer saying, though. Yeah. yeah. So and I'm your best baller, by the way. Like just I, I so you know, like that. I'm your best favorite baller. Ball. I'm your favorite soccer player. Dog. Dude, I don't even know you. I didn't even know your name until you came here today. <laughs> nah, <laughs> like <laughs> from today, bro. Like <laughs> from today, from today, bro. Like okay, so he wasn't me to love you that much. Okay, go. Cool, exactly, bro. Like Ruben, bro. Just no, but like, let me be honest. I've watched you play soccer. Thank really? you. Wait, so you're one of my fans, actually. I'm not your fan. Okay. Let's throw the line there. <laughs> 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 I'm not your fan, mm-hmm. but you're a good soccer player. Thank you. Just like Messi. Yeah. I'm not saying you're like Messi. <laughs> bro, but okay, no, no, no. I look at Messi and I'm like, oh, this guy is good. But I like Ronaldo. Okay, when you look at me, you're like, damn, this, yeah, this guy, guy is good. Okay, guys, bro. I hear by this means soccer. We're not going to talk about soccer today. We're talking about every other sport yeah, besides soccer. Physical activity. I feel like physical the, the activity. heart is entering when you people talk about soccer. <laughs> right now, you're about to fight right there. Yeah, bro, we can have a whole debate here. Okay, Ruben, how about you? What What are some of the physical, physical benefits? Physical benefits? Sports? For me, I would, of physical activity in general, not just sport. Yeah. Because we, we are talking about physical activity yeah. here. We're not talking about like just a sport that you play. Like You could be working out, you could be gymming. Mm-hmm. A physical benefit is obviously you'll be physically attractive. I don't know. So wait. So your first important benefit is that you look attractive. W- w- well, that's what I'm thinking of. Okay, cool. Do you look attractive? At least you're being real. Actually, like let's have a poll in the comments. Actually, mm-hmm. to see, are ladies attracted to men who are muscular or men who are? Ah, 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 hey, <laughs> hey, 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 I don't want to know that because. <laughs> I no, know but, that I'll win, but, but, all, but bro, like, there's more. You, you're more attractive. I'm not saying I'm not attractive now because I'm not muscular, but like, you. There's <laughs> <laughs> one of the benefits of being physically active 
is okay. you're also physically attractive because yeah um your body has like a manly structure let me say but <laughs> also for the women you also look physically attractive because you know like you have yeah. kids fi- oh, yeah okay mm. we'll stand by that but then like for for dudes yeah like you know training a lot like gives you you know like big calves mm. like mine so that you can have that like you won't see it right now like you won't see come no, oh, come on bro. I'll but then now nah, nah, relax like relax this, relax no okay. no nah, 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 nah. i'm still talking you know like so <laughs> <laughs> oh, so am I being disrespectful? No, no, no but no, it's no, cool. Really? Like nah, it's cool. Ruben likes exactly, it. Bro. Me. Like I say, it, bro. Like you, you guys should be my fans, dog. Anyways, I'm not over. So uh, you're yeah, here to promote yourself. So. Yeah, I'm here to promote myself, bro. <laughs> like <laughs> I'm here for soccer, guys. Like yo, Ruben can tell you what I did on Youth Day, bro. Like I'm my own biggest fan. Mm. All of them, you know. Oh yeah, where was I? You don't even know. Yeah, oh yeah, I was talking about uh the physical appearance of a guy, like a soccer player, you know, the training and all of that a gives you some muscles. Really tall. Re- <coughs> violating me, bro. Like I know I'm short, okay. Like I'm like but skill, six foot. Skill is there, yeah. Huh? Skill is there. That's what matters. Mm. You the said you want, you wanted to say you're six foot. I'm like five something, five nine. I would huh. say five three, two, bro. But huh. okay, that's you being generous when you're saying three. Mm. But we're not there. We're not there. You're saying. Oh yeah, I was saying we you know going away. Guys. Exactly, bro. Like <laughs> as, 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 as a sportsman, on? right? You should have that structure, like mine. You know, like when you're having those shots, like it makes you more attractive. I'm not saying like a skinny guy is not attractive, but then like if you have, like, you know, like a body like mine, not like Ruben, not like yours, like bro, mine. I'm, I'm, I'm here to promote myself, by the way. Sorry, bro, I'm I'm fit. Like I'm, bro. You fit for like just weightlifting. No, like I'm fit. Like my body is proper, bruv. But I'm not here to promote myself. That's your job to promote yourself. Me, Thank you. Me, my, pro- <sighs> my promotion does itself, bro. <laughs> Unspoken promotion. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So some of, um, say, the physical benefits that you might see. Um, can I also look at like just a bit of the health benefits? Because yeah. I think physical, because cause you might have mentioned looking attractive, um, looking, you know, properly fine for your body. Um, I think we can also include how physical activity kind of like helps you in terms of like losing the weight yeah losing the fats in your body and also help with i'm um, say that whole transformation of blood from deoxygenated to like oxygenated blood pulmonary artery ah, veins and veins the what the veins heart, pulmonary veins okay bro like just keep it simple <laughs> you know i'm very being like simple right now it's common sense uh, no, just because really. just because you when you're running you don't think about what's happening in your body doesn't mean that it's not common Oh really? When I just enjoy seeing a ball and chasing it, that's your thing. Uh-huh. Chasing a ball. That, but anyways, you're not there. Um, <laughs> for example, yeah. So all that it kind of like helps your your body also like say fight diseases as well. Mm. It um boosts your immune system, and yeah, man. I know, like there are a lot of physical benefits mm. besides attraction. Yeah, there are a lot. And, yeah, no, there are a lot. We can There's also like good health. Lo- good health equals to long life good healthy Long life. life yeah a healthy life because if if you're playing a sport you also have to eat healthy so that's a he- healthy lifestyle oh okay say you do not eat healthy and you happen to play a sport mm. that will help you like defeat all that unhealthiness yeah but i'm not saying i'm promoting eating unhealthy it's because it's like when you are eating unhealthy and then you play a sport it's like now you're working like two times harder than you would have if mm. you're eating healthy and playing sport. Yeah. For example, let's say you who um like say playing sport ah soccer, sorry. Who likes playing soccer. Say you start eating amaku in your daily quarter. If that's what you're doing, but I'm not talking about that. I'm just saying Yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't I tell do eat ikota by the way. No, so but like there should be a limit. I'm not saying do not eat ikota, but yeah, there should be like limit to say it's not like do yeah, quota yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Like so, yeah. th- pop. no, of course not all the time. I'm saying there should be a limit. <laughs> oh, you cannot okay. Be eating pop like every time with, yeah. like that's that's bro. You, you should yeah. know those things. Yeah. So I'm not saying that you should not eat. Um, wait, I'm not saying you should eat unhealthy. Yeah, you should eat like healthy food. Eating healthy food kind of like helps you a bit more. Mm. It helps you to be a bit more sharper. It helps also with your training to be like more effective. Yes. Because sometimes if you're training and you had eaten like those unhealthy things. Instead of you like training to improve, you're training to remove those things from your system. Yeah. Which kind of like basically puts you back when you could have easily removed this by you eating healthy. Mm. Say I've cooked. <laughs> no, you, say you, it. you tried though. Ah, you know, you like burnt the food. He, 
<laughs> he's almost there. Now like, let's look at the the mental benefits of yeah. of being physically fit or being physically active. And what are some of the mental benefits that come okay. to? Can I start with that one? So yeah. with me, right? I remember I used to go to the gym, and there was one thing that I was chasing, bro. Mm-hmm. The feeling that you have after the gym. Oh my word! The pain. The pain. Ooh. So is that a mental illness or no. it's a so, mental benefit? Because how are you enjoying feeling pain? Bruh, let me explain. So this pain, eh, this pain is not, it's not like, it's like someone beating you type of pain. Mm. It's like it, uh, you know, uh, it not like that pain, it makes you feel good. That's why most of the time, right? You must see how people who work out in the gym mm. walk afterwards. Their walk is like, they're proud of the pain that they're feeling. It's, it's good pain, to be honest. Because you know that your muscles are now, like, shaping into what you wanted them to be. Your, your muscles are now doing what you want them to do. Mm. Bruh. We're talking about mental benefits, by the way, of physical activity. Oh, yeah. So, I was talking to, like, how that builds your self-esteem. Oh. So, that pain, it, I don't know how, bruh, but I feel like there's a scientific things happening, going on their way. Like, that pain touches the hormones somehow, somehow mm. making you feel this good about yourself. And then you start looking at yourself better than you would just before the session when you were in the gym so i think um one of the mental benefits is that it helps your self-esteem not only the gym but the other sports yeah even you but i'm sure like okay say wait you've been running on the field like the whole day does that not mm-hmm. make you feel good like that tiredness that fatigue does it not make you feel good be honest yeah it makes me feel That's good you know like also being skillful like makes you feel good like and like soccer and it helps you like mentally you know, if you're really confident after playing a match, like you get you get that, you know, happiness, mm. you know, like whether you win or lose, okay, yeah. like if you lose, okay, you feel down. Yeah. But then like just but playing a match you can feel like that you're so happy, like you Yeah, like you, you, you have that happiness. Yeah. Exactly. You know that you've something and that can help your your mental health. Mm. Yeah. And how you look at yourself. Yeah. So I guess confidence is a it builds your confidence. It builds your confidence. Definitely. Be, being physically active builds your confidence. But also let's talk about like People who go to school, <clears throat> being physically active can also help you, like, with a sharper brain, like with a quick, quick thinking. Because some sports also it, it does actually thinking. improve, like your yeah, your mental capacity. Or yeah, something. your your neuro what what that thing is going on. I was reading about it, man, but mm. I'm not a good reader, so anyways. But makes sense. but it, but if you what do you mean? Did, it makes sense. If you did more physical activity, you would be a good reader because no, that's just not like my strong suit by default. But like, if, if okay. you study, I'm just saying, if you exercise. You read better. Anyways, faith. Huh? Yeah. Well, if you exercise, you read better. I'm talking to Gavi. Oh, no, to but hear. if that's not in you. But anyway, like it may make you yeah, sharper, okay, but yeah. not that it will necessarily make you read better. Yeah. For okay. an example, like okay, I was just teasing this, you, bruv. Me, I'm not teasable. But this, this is like <laughs> a proven, proven personal experience. Mm-hmm. Um. Wait. So you mean to tell me, you're literally, not a good reader? No, I'm. I'm still going to tell you what is proven experience, bruv. Okay. Okay. I didn't say the previous one was. This Bruh, you're not listening. You're okay, looking for your talk. Own thing. J- continue, dog. Ah. Just don't mind him. No, don't even smile like that. Ah. Enough to, but okay, anyways, anyways, anyways. So, <laughs> so um, what I've proven right, with my personal life, if I run more often, mm. my brain becomes more sharper. I can solve seven times seven faster than I would have maybe say a week before running. Mm-hmm. So I think those physical activities, they like they really make your brain sharper. They they kind of like tie something in your brain to make like everything just. Mm. When last did you exercise? Um, because this week was a very busy week for me. Mm-hmm. I, I was I, I did exercise last week. It was um, Monday and Wednesday. Oh, so it's been a while. I've got a better question, dog. When last did you go to the gym? That's what I'm saying. Monday yeah, and Wednesday. That's the same question. Really? Yeah. You know. Okay. When did you start going to the gym? Like I just oh, when? wanna confirm something. Immediately yeah. after metric. Cause when? Yeah. You want me to tell them when I'm a trick because I'm old, but um, no, <laughs> but it's been no, no, no. like ju- more than judging by your body, like ah, uh, my man. Oh no, so okay, so thing with me, right? I'm yeah. not working out to build my body. Oh, okay, so there okay. are those like work out to like walk like bulking and for me, all I, that. Yeah, for me that's not appealing. So, okay, so why do you work out? If you're not number one, I love the feeling. Okay. Number two, just to be strong. Um, number three, um, okay, well, this is a side benefit. Keeps me healthy. Mm. And also, it helped me fight some potential diseases as well. Oh, yeah. So, okay, I guess that's one of the other physical benefits of working out. It helps you. Yeah. Your, does it help your immune system? 
it does. I, I think we did mention how it helps your immune system. Like mm. it helps also fight those, yeah, nasty things that might come. Yeah, it helps you. It helps your immune system to be stronger than it would have been. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I guess we can take a break now. A, short, a quick short break because there's, it's half time now. Yeah, you know in soccer. First quarter. The one who the ones exactly. who watch soccer. Exactly. Like who, yeah. Actually I'm here to promote soccer. Okay, thank you Easy. very much. <laughs> uh, please oh. stay tuned. After the break we'll, there's more to discuss, so don't go anywhere. Thank you. Sexual immorality is found only outside of the marriage covenant. This sexual immorality, fornication is involved. And what is fornication? Sex between a married person and anyone else. Adultery is sex between someone who's married and someone other than their spouse. Evil woman, adulterer. Strange woman, prostitute. You can experience sex God's way or you can experience sex the world's way, Satan's way. Which one do you prefer? When you go the world's way, the prostitute way, you will not know how to resist the prostitute and the adulterers. The world's way will not lead you to married life to God's partner. There's nothing wrong. 20 to 30 years. You are settled. But now we start settling when you are 45. <laughs> when all type of makeup cannot make you up. <laughs> when you start this way, the world's way, you destroy the capacity to love the right one. Thank you so much, everyone, for staying tuned. And if you just joined us, we're talking about sports and physical activity. So before we continue, I just want to go through a few comments that have come in while we were talking. So Nandi, Nandi Nkomba says, so is walking at Bree Street during month and season a sport? Pride is. <laughs> no, no, that, that, that one it is, right? Because when you yeah. get home, you're sweating, you're mm. so tired. That's okay. That's actually a physical activity. Yeah, because you're walking fast. And, oh, yeah, and by the bridging. way, walking as well, it, it's, it's a physical walking, activity. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Nandi is right. Um, walking is a physical activity. Yeah. Ju just because it's not strenuous for some of us mm. compared to you, Robert. But bottom line is like, it can be a physical activity. Mm. So instead of you um, say, Okay, now, now this is for those who are driving. You will, you wouldn't get it, but if oh. say, <laughs> <laughs> no. no, no, like for real though, you wouldn't get it. Okay, but no, I but get for it. for those who are driving out there, if say um you want to go to the spaza, it's sometimes like the first thing is like let me just use the car instead mm. of you walking. It's yeah, just a spaza shop. Exactly. Even sometimes walking to a mall, even if it's like five kilometers away, it's mm. good. It's five good kilometers for you to walk. away, bra. Five nothing. kilometers. Yeah. Five kilometers, bro. Yeah. Walking. Bro. What? And that time you play soccer, and then another time you dance so much, and you cannot even walk five kilometers. No, bro. Man. Five kilometers. You're walking to the mall that is five. Bro. Do you understand how how much five kilometers is? Dude, I've, I, if I can show you my timetable, like I used Don't to run. I, okay, cool. Mm. But no, bro. Like, say if you are jogging in the morning, mm. five kilometers like for beginners, bro. It's not. It's not that bad for you. It's not that yeah, difficult yeah. for you. To if you're jogging in the morning, yeah, five kilometers. Okay. 
Yeah, but uh, and then imagine if you're walking. It's like a 30 minutes walk basically. Nah, just imagine walking. No, like bro. How how much? Five, five kilometers. kilometers. It's a 30 minute walk. Like when you're walking like a normal pace, about 30 minutes. Mm, okay. Damn. That's not bad. Come on. Okay. But and also, we let's let's talk about how physical activity doesn't mean just playing sports. As you mentioned, walking. Yeah. Walk like. Like if you don't, if you're not usually into any sp- physical activities, you can literally just walk to the spider shop, yeah, or dance at church. Swallow your pride, dance yeah. at church. Mm. <laughs> no, no, actually, it's true. I, I get yeah. you, bro. Because look, the problem is that we think that someone is watching us, yeah. And we become like this Steve. No, so and chances dancing. are, no one is watching you, bro. No, chances no are, if, if someone is watching you, they're impressed by your dancing. So you have a chance of, especially if it's a lady, if you're a guy. And mm-hmm. someone is watching mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. Your hey. chances of <laughs> hey, hey man. Man, right. I, uh-uh. And if you're a lady and you're dancing, you have chances. If you're single, also. Bro, what are you talking about? <laughs> what, you you mentioned no one is looking no. at you when you're dancing. No, no one is looking at you. Bro. Okay, nah, he's looking. Like he's talking like about the potential. You know, like if no you're dancing, yeah. you know, maybe your but potential. The point I'm stressing here is, let's not look down on physical activities such as walking dancing like if you're not if you don't play sports like just try keeping yourself fit by walking yeah. to the spot even like using say, say yeah. stay in the flat using the mm. stairs yeah instead of using the lift that's that's a physical activity it doesn't have to be that strenuous to your point where by you're playing soccer for 90 minutes mm. and the, hence we are like in the beginning fifa is not that playstation is not a spot but then like to use your mind like nah, you know you need okay, to think it's no, not like it's a sk- it's nah, nah, okay it's a skill it's a skill it's not a sport it's a, it's a, it's a skill nah. guys we are talking about physical activity. activity okay okay i was about to say studying sometimes can be a mental activity but since say physical physical okay. activity <laughs> yeah if you talk about studying comments. i'm talking about mm. fifa though Okay, no, 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 read the comments. FIFA, no, 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 FIFA no, is not even coming in here. FIFA is nothing. FIFA man. is laziness <laughs> and, and enjoyment. <laughs> oh, Maybe I'll be a future panelist in this show, you know, so I'm practicing. You're a panelist basically. now. What do you oh, mean? no, no, no. So What's just just when you're sitting in the middle. <laughs> nah, relax, the relax. Presenter. Nah, I got it confused. What are you guys? Like hosts or something? Pre- yeah, presenters. not really Oh, presenters. presenters. And, and you are the panelist. Oh, so I'm the panelist. Yeah. Just because you're dressed better than us doesn't mean. No, 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 relax. Like a person in Supi, what are you guys again? Ah, ah the no, next moment you are. Is, is, is it the concentration? <laughs> so bro. if if you were to work <laughs> out, your concentration levels would increase. Clearly, this boy has been lying to us. He doesn't play soccer that much. Bro, your concentration, bro, it's something. Stop this thing that you're smoking. You're saying? <laughs> nah, bro. Like I'm from training, so I'm tired. Mm. No, you I, know? I understand. I understand. Yeah, I understand. Exactly, bro. <laughs> so you should be my fan. Dog. No, like, man, I get you. Follow me on IG, though. <laughs> uh, Peter, son of John, says, Gavi said watching football is a waste of time. Explains <laughs> a lot. Really does explain a lot, Gavi. What As does I it say, explain? Real men. Nah, bruh. Oh, exactly. It's, it's a personal preference. Like, I don't see myself sitting down for that long just to... But anyways, I get you guys who scream at the TV for someone who couldn't even hear you. I understand. It explains a lot. Mm. I'm touched. G Light Music. It's not every sport where you have to sweat. How about slapping sports and chess? Do you guys know that sport where they slap each other? The s- slapping each other? Mm. Or oh, the slapping challenge by yeah. Dana White. No, 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 bruh. It's like, down rate it's like, like a sport. No, bruh. Here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's by Dana White, bro. Like uh, whoever it's by. Mm-hmm, but yeah, yeah. I, no, but, but we are talking about physical activity. But he okay, ma- okay. She, like mentioned chess. Okay, as okay. Well. Le- let me just correct myself. Maybe you don't necessarily have to sweat because sometimes I do work hard and I don't sweat. Mm-hmm. But the effort has to be there. But thank you for listening, Jilight. I'm I'm glad that you are listening. And keep the comments coming. Stop misleading people, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like you should stop misleading people. <laughs> Guys, sports is good, bro. Physical activity. Mm. Especially soccer. Yeah, g goes further to say, I totally agree with Gavi. Every time I leave the gym, I have high levels of concentration and I feel like I can literally carry the world on my shoulders. The feeling is just unexplainable. True. That's how I was like fumbling a bit because you cannot explain, bro. It's, it's difficult. Like the feeling that you have after like putting mm. in the work and it's an internal thing so that's why i'm not challenging everyone to do it so this man g light says it's just unexplainable but sir you just explained it so what do you mean yeah 
No, no, I think he didn't do justice in explaining mm. it. Like, it's it's way more than what he wrote. That's that's what I'm saying. So if you can also try it, Ruben, just go to the gym one day, bruh. Use, okay, first day to be painful, but continue, you'll see how you feel. I, I'm good with my dancing. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. I also play soccer sometimes. You also mentioned playing girls, but ah no, let's not. <laughs> oh wait, no, no, let's leave that. No, 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 Really? Okay. Try to affect your heart. Mm. Um, okay, so we're talking about, say, sports in school, right? Yeah. Mm. So le- let's let's just talk about how that can help you as a young person, like having mm. or participating in a sport activity at school. Yeah. Because you know, yeah. there the are those kids. Okay, I, I won't lie. I'm one of those. Mm. Like, mm. I don't like associating myself with other kids back in school, even now. But that's not the point. Okay. But um, so for those kids who like don't like associating themselves with other kids, they just like want to keep to themselves. Mm. They want to study and finish and go away. What can you say about like including sport in that? I, bro. To be honest, uh, I mean, <laughs> I don't know, bro. Like to those type of people, I mean, like it's good. Just go to school, study, finish, whatever. Varsity, life, worship God. <laughs> That's all I can say. Dog. <laughs> like to nah, like let's let, let's be honest. Okay, so this is my okay. I know I'm talking like this, but for me it was difficult. Okay, so okay, so this this was my life, right? In high school, I know I was like too talkative and stuff, but in university, I'm like I. But sport can help in terms of like removing that loneliness from your brain, because mm. if you say join in a sport, chances of you not talking to someone the whole year is very rare. Yeah. Because th- those are like your, your teammates now. Those are people mm. that like, you will now build with. You will now um, say, get to know better. You can whether choose to be friends or just remain as teammates. So I think sports in schools, they, they do help you also to like open up yourself yeah. to, to actually stop this introvert thing yeah. going on. And we also spoke about the mental benefits of s- physical activity and sports. Um, helps with concentration and stuff mm. like that. So, you know, you go to school and then after school you have training let's say rugby let's say soccer whatever that's going to help you in terms of physical fitness as well and also you know there's a lot of people who go to school and they are shy or introverted yeah and then once they get that physical one of the physical benefits of it builds their confidence yeah, now the confidence. they feel free to like yeah. also talk to other kids as well yeah yeah mm. then then for you to be alone because sometimes i think say for example at home as well things are not that good mm. say you're not your parents don't want to talk to you. Mm. So at least you feel like in that type of setting where you've mm. got someone to talk to your school, that's, that's better. Yeah. So yeah, I think I would really advise. So it's, it's very important yeah. for schools to have sports and it's very important for kids to participate in the sports as well. I'm yeah. not sure if this still happens, um, but um, I think Thursdays for primary and Wednesday for high, high schoolers school. yeah. is a sports yeah. day. I yeah. hope it still happens. If it doesn't... Well, I remember it happened like that. And yeah. Yeah. Like even if your school doesn't have a park, but like, but let something happen. Mm. Yeah, play sports, guys. Yeah. No, like I, I think like it's really important for for like schools to have sports. You know, like especially soccer, because like soccer has, <laughs> like I'm here to promote soccer, James. So okay, like okay. most of my examples <laughs> will be for soccer. If you're not a soccer player or if you're not a soccer fan, I, my man, like just accept it. Like I'm here today mm. to tell you about soccer. <laughs> so yeah, as I was saying, you know. Like, schools should have soccer, you know, like, for both genders, like, boys and girls mm-hmm. should participate in soccer, and parents should also encourage it, yeah. you know, because, like, playing soccer is something, like, good. Like, it's amazing. But, but, okay, you know, I, I hear uh-huh. what he's saying, right, but parents, don't go and force your child to, because if you force me to play soccer, yeah. I'll be very upset with you, because I'm not <laughs> into soccer. Mm. But I think what he's trying to say is that parents help your child have an extracurriculum activity yes. yeah, yeah yeah doesn't exactly. necessarily have to be soccer mm. thing is i think in place of whatever he says from now on in place of soccer put sport yeah you, you will get what he's trying to say yeah something like that mm. nice no I, I really agree with you it would be nice for parents to like um encourage um their young ones, their young ones mm-hmm. to participate because that also like removes that introverted thing man mm. it's, yeah, it's not yeah. easy 
you cannot easily come out of that by yourself yeah so i guess also why you should participate in sports in school because it it helps you brighten uh broaden your horizon and mm-hmm. also like you know it teaches you skills like like soccer for an example thank it teaches you. you the skill of problem solving yeah mm-hmm. there's two defenders what do you do problem solve you see oh yeah 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 and um so okay now I have to make example of soccer Okay, okay, accepted. soccer, soccer example. Thank you. No, because it's said accepted. Say volleyball, right? Mm-hmm. So what you do is you keep practicing. If you're failing to get a certain thing, um, you, you keep practicing until you, you become very good at that skill. Mm. So I think that also like a moral... Moral what? A moral compass. <laughs> no, not a moral compass. I, I was almost cooking then uh, mm. something happened. Keep it simple, dog. No, there are some people who, who can't like understand some things you're talking about just <laughs> talk about soccer <laughs> talk about soccer talk. okay like just talk about so soccer. it's kind of like um it it, it, it to, to be a skill that will like automatically be put in you to say if you don't know something you keep practicing until yes. you get it yes because oh. growing up that's what you used to do with mm. soccer when you couldn't like score that goal you kept practicing each time until you got it right mm. So even also with your studies, that's how it's going to be. If you don't understand something, you keep practicing it until you get it right. Mm. So I think that's one of the skills that we can get from sports. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> we also mentioned how we, we, we spoke a bit about parents. Mm-hmm. So how is how important is it for parents to introduce sports to their children and also like maybe support them in the sports they're playing? Okay, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll start, obviously. I'm a leader. The head and not the tail. Mark, I told you about pride. Yeah, bro. Pride. Okay, 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 okay. okay I get it. I Getting get it. rid of pride is another sport as well. Okay, it is. It's not easy. It's not easy. Really, mm. it's not easy. So you can start that sport. Today. Okay, as we, I was look, saying. You see where you are now. Uh-huh. We are telling you now to come out before it's too late. Because <laughs> we've been there. Mm. <laughs> easy to say yes. Uh-huh. Difficult, difficult to come out. out. We, we watched last week's talk show. Damn. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's, nah, it's that's, like I usually have uh, low cheering during the talk show. Like I'm sure at home, there's rebroadcast. Like, there is, my guy. Really, there's an ITV <laughs> and so well. you mm. see, we even say these things during the talk show. To say if you're not watching us now, you watch us. Okay, but not that you listen because you're not watching us. But if you happen not to watch us because of certain things like the shedding, there's always rebroadcast. There's always ITV and so yeah, please do. Your question again, please. The importance of parents. Uh-huh. Wait, what did you say? They put no, I'm saying concentration. Like he yeah. needs to work on concentration. <laughs> really, <laughs> the importance yeah. of parents introducing sports and supporting the children in the sport. Personally, mm. okay. Can I mention soccer again? Okay. It's okay, but you understand. <laughs> Thank you. Understand. you. Uh, like it's really, really important for like f- uh parents to expose their children into sports. Mm. You know, like you can find. W- that uh, the kid has a passion into sports, like any type of sports, like soccer, whatever. But then mainly in soccer, you know, if you have uh, support in your family or like, especially your parents, if your parents support you, like when you're playing soccer, like you have that confidence. And you get an extra mileage. Well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like when you have confidence, like you can excel in soccer, but then with no confidence, like you can't really excel in soccer. Mm. No matter how skillful you are, That's true. without confidence, like it's like you just... Adding the number. Mm. But you're speaking for any sport, not just... Yeah, yeah, yeah just for any sport. I told you, like, whenever I say soccer, just think of yeah, any sport. Yeah, but then, like, confidence is something, and you get confidence from the support you get, especially from your parents. Mm. So at least if parents, like, just expose their, chil- their children into doing sports, you know, like, it gets them out from being introverts yeah. or, like, those, you know, I won't say weird... Children. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't say we are children. I, I know I'm weird, but so it's okay. No, nah, no, nah, you're not weird. Trust me, my guy. Okay. Okay. You're and nah, okay, you're weird. So I know. I know. Yeah. Look, for me, that's a compliment. I know I'm different. Weird for me means different. Mm-hmm. So if you're weird out there, just know that you're different. Thank you. Um, so, for example, right, that gets a bit tricky because sometimes people who love soccer, I've noticed, right, for the most part, kids who love soccer, they tend to focus more on soccer than their studies. Mm, so yes. now sometimes so it's a bit tricky for you to like ask parents to be like be supportive mm. parents i feel like parents should know better to say okay now my child is focusing more on soccer and neglecting the books so now there's this balance so sometimes if the parent is like trying to encourage you to do your books don't think that they're discouraging you from doing soccer mm. it's just that they're trying to like make you realize i think also it goes to how they talk about that to you yeah so i think of 
exactly. stop soccer. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soccer, you're failing because mm. of soccer. No, yeah. sit me down and be like, okay, Sunny, I see you love soccer. It's amazing. In fact, start with compliments. Mm. It's amazing. I love how you love soccer this much. It's it's good. You even look good nowadays. Mm. I can see how you, you breathe nice and everything. You're even looking fresh. Mm. But Sunny, you know, out of notice, look at this mark, one, two, three. Mm. And what do you think you can do to change it? And let the kid try to come up with solutions. But you yeah. know where you're heading to. Yeah. But it speaks volumes also on the... Bruh, I just yeah. could driven. Come on. Oh, no, you, you tried again. <laughs> but ah. I'm saying it speaks volumes on the support that your parent gives you while yeah. you're playing sports and also in your academics. Because if they support you with your sports, most likely they'll also support you with your academics. So they'll always be there to provide... No, I, yeah, I hear, I hear that. Academically. Yeah. So like if you're struggling with a certain subject, they're there to support you. Like if you're struggling with in school, like just the general support from a parent is very important. Like in anything that the child does... Because if you brush out the soccer that he's playing or the sports that he's playing and say because you're failing in school, yeah, then completely stop. No, yeah, 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 no, yeah, that, that that is mm, a bit detrimental. It will make him to make the child do worse in what you want him to yeah. focus on. So, because because the goal is to make the child love what he's doing. What yeah, that yeah, way, because exactly. you know sometimes forcing someone to study. I mean, okay, personally, I would say it's it's not the best. I almost said it's it's, it's not a good thing. But it's not the, like, bruh, if you're forcing someone to study, studying, it's a mental thing. To you, I might look like I'm studying, yeah. but I'm not. Yeah. Just because you force me, I'm like, okay, mm. I'm proving my point. Yeah. You want me to study? Cool. Ask me what I was studying. Nothing. Nothing. In fact, I can take one line. And if I can even, since we're not going to the same school as me, I can even lie to you about what I was talking about, like pulmonary, uh, pulmonary veins, how the blood is secreted. And that time of like, blood is secreted to the anus. And those <laughs> things, brother, don't even match that time. To yeah. you, I sound like I'm making sense. <laughs> yeah. But I'm just like, I just want you to stop and let me do my thing. Mm. So do not force the child to study. Just help them love what you want them to do. Yeah. Not for you to be shouting and be like. Yeah. yeah. The support, the sitting down and reasoning with your yeah. child. Yeah. Communication, support. And also, when we're talking about parents, there's a comment from Peter, son of John, who says, sports and physical activities help with obedience. Learning to take instructions and seeing it through even if you don't get it. So I guess that can also help yeah. with disciplining the Discipline. child at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like So they learn that skill from sport, now they're applying it at home. Yeah, exactly. So I guess it's very important for parents to to introduce sports to their kids as well. Because, you know, as much as you want your kid to be smart, you also want your kid to live a long life and be physically fit. So sports will benefit them physically. Mm. They'll be healthy. They'll be fit. Mm -hmm. uh, you're investing in something that's long term as well yeah so yeah, yeah, yeah. because education yeah true education is good can only take you so far let's say you go you yeah you you're you studying every you day yeah. and you're always eating and sitting no physical activity you become fat yeah and but there are those of us from here eat i sit down nothing happens but okay that's the thing <laughs> as well just because i eat too much i sit down and nothing happens mm. in terms of like horizontal gain yeah nothing might happen but inside, things might be shaking. Yeah. So, there's that. Yeah. Okay. So, can we just yeah. talk about how we can use sports as an escape? Mm -hmm. Like how, for example, say... Uh, FIFA. You know FIFA? Like uh, when you're having a bad day, yeah. you just go and play. Nah, FIFA, FIFA just makes I, it I cannot worse. talk to that because I wouldn't understand. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's just go back to soccer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like now, I'm speaking for the ballers at home. Like if you're a baller, like, okay, if you're... Playing sports. Okay, for an example, I'll go back soccer. Ne? <laughs> when you enter the pitch, like, to be honest, right, no matter what problems you have, yeah. like at home, whatever, 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 right, when you, the minute you enter the pitch and kick the soccer ball, everything changes, bro. Mm. Like, everything's, like, you just switch on, bro. Like, you're just focusing on soccer and everything like that. But then it changes, like, all your problems come back when you leave the pitch. Mm. Oh, yeah. And so that's, that's actually a healthy addiction. Because instead exactly. of, I've, okay, I've heard that people say they smoke or they do drugs to escape, to escape. from, say, whatever was going yeah, on yeah, in their yeah, lives. Yeah, yeah. And then once they sob again, it's back. So those drugs, they kind of, like, deal with you in terms of, like, your immune system. Yeah. So instead of that, you could do a sport. Do a sport and instead. use that as an escape to say, okay, now I'm just feeling down and everything. Yeah. I need to distress play sport yeah so sports is, an, is a healthy addiction yeah and um, I think in terms of like say you trying to avoid certain addictions mm. you remember what we were talking about say it's easy to 
get into and difficult to come out of. Yeah. I think we could use a spot for other form of addictions. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. in that topic, we also spoke about substituting yeah. with something positive. Like I say, you, let's say you may be addicted to smoking. And in that time of smoking, you're playing a sport. And also, yeah. you know, if, if you smoke... When, when that desire for smoke comes, you just keep yeah, the you ball. Just, like, yeah. You just go out for a jog, yeah, yeah, you yeah, run yeah. or something. That desire will mm. just... Take and also, the more you play a sport, like, you realize that the, the smoking is taking a toll on me. Like, it, exactly. It's yeah, making yeah. me get tired quicker. So you, you're more, you, your desire to stop is stronger. And bro, that that feeling is scary, hey? Like, that feeling is scary. Because I remember, um, not with smoking, <laughs> <laughs> but it was like with eating unhealthy things. Because mm-hmm. I would eat, say, yeah, unhealthy things, and then I would run. Bro, two kilometers in my running, I'm like breathing heavy, I'm mm. sweating so bad. Mm. Okay, I've got levels of sweat. You know, sometimes like, I can run and sweat like just a bit. Mm. And that time, bro, I was sweating like, everywhere, every part of my body, even my feet. I was switching to my feet, <laughs> bro. I was like, no. I feel like I should see a doctor. Mm. But I, I knew, personally, I knew that was because of what I've been eating. Yeah. Yeah, we, we can also touch on the on healthy eating while being physically active as well. Did we touch on it? We touched on it we a little. Just, yeah, just a bit. Yeah. Just a bit. Got so much yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But then, like, when you're doing sports, and it's not just that you do sports just for fun. Mm. Like when you're doing sports, if you want to major in sports, you know, like soccer, netball, volleyball, or whatever, like you just got to eat healthy. Yeah. You know, especially on soccer, you got to eat healthy. There's a certain diet that you should follow. Like if you're playing in like top leagues, probably like, okay, like league. just, no, 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 no. Like, okay, let's just talk about something locally, like yeah. something in South Africa. You know, like, if you're playing, like, properly... Nah, hey, but South African South African football. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, 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 okay, let me just change, yeah, let me just change. Say let's say you're playing... <laughs> like, if you look at, like, European ballers or, like, other sure. professional ballers, right? You have a certain diet you must follow. Mm. Like, certain food you must eat and certain food you must not eat, yeah. right? Okay, let me also touch on Formula One. Formula One is a sport, actually. But racing. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 racing, right? For an example, Lewis Hamilton. Mm. They have to have a certain diet because you need to, like, 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 you drive cars for, like, for, like, an hour or more than an hour. Mm. So really? You eat food to drive? No, like, no, like come on. specific food to drive? Yeah, yeah. I yeah, never knew that. Because, <laughs> come on, Gavi. Okay, I'm for an agree, example, I'm like you're driving that. a car, right? For probably you're not like driving a horse, but okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> just oh. okay. Now nah, listen, no, listen, I, listen, I, listen. I, listen. I, I, it's I, just a car, right? Yeah. You don't stop when you're pitting. It's just for like two seconds. So like you need to have a diet that like would not make you have a running tummy. Just mm. imagine like oh. being a racer, mid race, you're stopping. Like you have a stomach ache or something like that, okay. right? Like it's so unprofessional. Yeah. Come on. Or like also in soccer, mm. like. Probably like 15 minutes into the game, jiggy jiggy, like stomach bug. Hey, you need mm. to go to the toilet. Come on, like, yeah. So, I, you I, know, I think, I think every sport has got like specific foods, yeah, 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 to yeah, be yeah. taking in. Because I know there was this joke that says, um, a bodybuilder, like in the gym industry, a bodybuilder, they they no longer eat out of enjoyment, they mm. eat things because they're looking for nutrients, yeah, because. Yeah. A bodybuilder, most of the times, I think they just looking for proteins. I, actually, I got to that point. Mm. I was still. A you bit told me young. about how you were eating noodles with peanut butter. Exactly. Even oh, no. oh, that time. <laughs> Even no. <laughs> no, Even no. No. Listen. No. No. Listen. Listen. Even so, <laughs> no. That time it was bad, my guy. Because mm. I think it was. I, I mentioned it in the show when we were talking about like we were rushing to leave your parents' house, mm. and that time like I wanted to focus on building my body a bit. So I had noodles in the house, right? And noodles they don't really contain much of proteins, if at all, like mm. none. So I had to put something else in noodles to give me proteins, so I can build my body. Mm. And and there was literally nothing cheese. Ah, yeah, I got tired of cheese. Mm. So I had to try something else, and it was peanut butter. It almost slept. It didn't slept that much, but it was nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. Yeah, no. Like so so I think your diet also really matters mm. when it comes to. Yeah. sports in physical activity, physical activity. It's, it's not that hectic it's yeah. also got to do with your you're not saying um change your diet because you're into sports but what you eat is very important it's even a, if you're yeah, not yeah. in sports. it's a major contributing yeah. factor yeah even if you're not physically even if active. you're not physically active eat. in fact that's even worse because mm. if you're not physically active and you're eating those fads yeah like yeah because 
on the episode you are watch it yeah you can go back and watch it like, we, i think we we've been repeating like how many like how many guys <laughs> no <laughs> You can go to ITV and there's there's a part where there's talk show, you talk show. Yeah. Right. Just playlist. go through all yeah. those things. Mm. One day at a time. We've got seven days. You can do seven days a week and then yeah. trust me, it's very helpful, bruh. Mm. Mm. But as I was saying, on that episode you are watching, we spoke, we spoke about eating a lot and eating like starch and whatever you're eating. And then that body, whatever you're eating, your body stores, stores that it as fat, as fat yeah. to use as energy when you are physically active. So now exactly. if you eat a lot of like starch and then you have a lot of fat inside you and you're not using you're not physically it as energy. Yeah. yeah. So so eating habits is also quite important. You should watch the episode you are watching. And, and then that can lead to like chronic illness, like yes. you end up being obese, yeah, exactly. end up getting those not high obese, blood pressure. Obese. Okay, bro, like whatever. <laughs> oh, best. <laughs> okay, oh, okay, best. Okay, okay. Yeah. You know. Well, I, I was going to say write down the the pronunciation, <laughs> but do read it anyway. Yeah. So um yeah, so it like kind of like leads to different chronic illnesses. Yeah. And that could have easily been avoided as well. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. better if it's a thing of like okay, I'm getting it because my parent had it type mm-hmm. of thing. Yeah. And they can even start dealing with it now than later. Yeah. So in conclusion, guys. No, oh, okay. I'm not done. Uh, I'm not uh, done promoting uh, soccer. Oh, <laughs> okay. In let's go back. Let's go back. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Wait. Okay. Let's go back. Where are we going? Yeah, now nah, let's go back to the parents supporting the children. Yeah. Mm. Uh, the whatever, whatever, whatever. Oh yeah. Like when they're supporting their children, like they they should support their children in sports. You know, like expose them into sports. Cause like, as a child, you can balance between sports and uh, what's this school. Mm. You know, cause like you can but escape. Those who don't know how to balance that—that that was my concern. Cause I, I no. think especially with uh-huh. soccer people, I'm not being no, no. sorry, but I've seen like soccer boys who focus so much on soccer. I've like, seen that too. Yeah, yeah. Like they even look at it as like my end goal to say professionally, mm. I'll become a soccer player, and yeah. now neglecting their study. Yeah, that's where the problem is. So like soccer, like locally, it's just. Like, okay, basically, like, soccer teams, like, locally, jo- those junior teams, they're all to keep us away from drugs. That's mm. what our, t- our coaches always tell okay. us. They're saying that they create teams or whatever yeah. to keep us away from drugs. So, like, when you come back from school or at school, you can do sports, your soccer, yeah. whatever, whatever, whatever. When you get home, you know that there's soccer, you do your homework, whatever. You focus on your health and your fitness. Like, it keeps you away from drugs. Like, yeah. mm. like it's the reality of it, you know. And, like, Okay, like you shouldn't have that mentality to say, uh, just because your grades are not good, you're just focusing on soccer. Like I'm gonna be a soccer player, yeah, because like one percent of one percent of players who make it professionally, like bro, there are very few. Though. There are few. No, 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 no. There's ninety nine percent of soccer players that don't make it professional. There's that's not the right yeah, phrase that's I wanted to use. I want to say one percent. But no, one percent of one percent footballers make 1% it. One percent of one percent. That is zero point zero one. Nah, so bro, like zero point zero one nah, percent. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. just a few people <laughs> okay, make it. Bottom line, there's a small majority of people <laughs> who make it professional. Exactly. So you should at least you know like now pass some fee to like yeah, go to varsity, have, have a degree, then like do sports and a degree so that when sports fails, exactly. You fall you know, yeah. Yeah, but then if yes. education fail, yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Ah, maybe now maybe come on, like, like you, you can't lack both sides. Like, yeah, come yeah on. exactly. Now if you go start in clean, you know. Thank God. But anyways, yeah, like, can, like now, now I can for what you said. Now I can respect you. Mm. Thank you. The, actually, like, there's a cr- the creative media says Mr. Faith needs a sport that will knock out his pride. So, bro, so eh, boxing, bro, my man. We can box after this, so I can show you. No, we can yeah, run. The way I will leave him behind, it will leave him humble. <laughs> no, God, I'm telling you. <laughs> like, it's no like sprint. me and you race. Sprint. Yeah. yeah. Nah, it will change something. Because I will leave you. Like, the gap in between, you will forget how old I am. For real? <laughs> <laughs> okay, nah, but I, I like you. We have come to the end hey, of my guy, show. I want to Nah, you're lying. Yeah. I is it, is it half seven? Dude, yeah, one ha, goes dude my guy, I'm telling fast. you, thi- yeah. we always fight the same thing because mm. we still want to talk, bro. Yeah. So anyways. we have come to the end. I guess... Uh, one of the m- most important take home points is physical activities is not necessarily doing as playing a sport yeah walking like walking to the spas or walking five kilometers as you said yeah dancing at church just invest in your physical activity and in your physical banner. well-being mm-hmm. there's a lot of benefits that come physically and mentally so yeah invest in your physical well-being yeah so that you do not suffer now 
mm. you get to live long. Yeah, before we end the show, right? Like, don't mention soccer, but continue. Okay, so do you still remember Youth Day? Like they were recording and all of that. Yeah. Right. Like, why haven't Chow posted the videos of me playing? <laughs> like, <laughs> I just wanted playing. to. This guy is into okay, okay, like us playing. Well, let's box. No, sorry, 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 sorry. No, sorry, we're sorry. your pride, my guy. We know mm. how. But after the show. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so guys, thank you so, thank much, you so much for watching. Um, so you can meet us again next week on Wednesday, same place and same time and. Much love, man. Shalom. Screw up. Always.